Champion select? Olaf's immunity to CC makes him a very good counter to Irelia. She also needs to scale in the early but is dependent on items, which Olaf isn't, so he can abuse his skills in the early game to kill her. Garen can silence her for long enough to stop her from doing what she needs, and Darius can out damage her if he doesn't get himself stunned in the process. Pantheon because of his aggressiveness, Nasus because he can slow her attack speed down, and Malphite if he rushes Frozen Heart are all viable counters too. Irelia's passive reduces CC duration based on the fight she's fighting. If it's 1v1, then it's a fixed 10% CC reduction. But if she or her allies are outnumbered, like in a 1v2 or a 3v5 fight, then she gets a much more reasonable 25-40% to CC reduction based on her level. Her Q makes her dash to a target, and if that target is killed, then the cooldown is refreshed with a bit of mana given back too. Irelia's W has a passive which makes her auto attacks heal her, and when activated will double the healing and makes her auto attacks deal bonus true damage. Her E slows targets with lower HP percentage than her by 60%, and stuns those who have greater HP percentage. Irelia's ultimate allows her to fling 4 blades which heal her for 25% of the damage dealt. Irelia is one of those champions with another long list of combos, but one of the most common is waiting for her enemy to have more percentage health than her, Q to a dying minion, E to stun, activate W for 2 damage, auto attack, all the while ulting to heal and finish off the target. Most Irelias take teleport because of their item dependency. Taking teleport too is great to stop her from pushing the lane back. Just be careful for ganks and don't dive her. Like. Ever. Exhaust no longer reduces true damage or attack speed, so it isn't a great choice, but Ignite might stop her from healing if you want to kill her in the early. Irelia really depends on items. In this case, a single sheen is enough to make you cry tears of the goddess. Triforce is another great power spike on her. Levels 4, 6 and 9 are dangerous, and her mid to late game usefulness is insane. Kill her off while she has no items and before level 9 or preferably 6. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, she'll stun if her HP appears to be lower, she heals very quickly and a single sheen will blast you. Ultimately, have fun fighting her.